I started my day, for some reason, reading this story. Uh, Congressman Presley slams New York's use of inmate labor for hand sanitizer production. Okay, start there. Now, mind you, I didn't see Cuomo's. I saw it, but I had the sound down. The only reason, I, it, he's either the governor or he's mute. I don't know which one because it always says governor on my screen when he's talking, and it also says mute, so I don't know which he is. Um, but maybe he's a mute governor, which would be good. Mm -hmm. um, anyway. They had a blind governor already, and, and now they can have a mute now they one. Now they have a mute one. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so uh, Presley comes out. And I'm I'm rolling my eyes as I'm reading this story. I'm, I'm like, come on. Now, Presley is uh, the Ringo of the squad, right? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. The one that nobody really knows. Yes. Um, she does not approve of New York State using prison inmates to produce a line of hand sanitizers to meet increasing demand amid its coronavirus outbreak. Lashing out, calling it demeaning, ironic, and exploitive. She says, prison is cruel and it erases your humanity because you are so... Many, there are so many demoralizing things that happen. Yeah, you're in prison. Yeah, what part of that? What it's part not of uplifting. That like a, yeah. you no, know, it's not like, oh man, someday kids, I'm going to go to prison. <laughs> um, you're, you're void in solitary of human touch. You're void of dignified shelter. You're void of dignified shelter? Oh, you know what? They don't have jacuzzis in their rooms. You're vo void of quality food. What? Uh, and then on top of it, not only are there a number of unjust things happening, but they're all very profitable. How much it costs to make a phone call or challenges to put money in somebody's books. All of these things have been privatized, monetized, and create a huge profit for, uh, for the for-profit industry. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm ready to get sanitizer from Cuomo. I'm willing to go door to door. After reading this, not knowing what Cuomo said, Reading this, I'm ready to go door to door for, for the hand sanitizer because they need hand sanitizer in New York. All right. Then I read, Cuomo challenges Purell, Amazon, and eBay by introducing New York-made hand sanitizer. <laughs> New from New York State. New York State is producing and distributing its own hand sanitizer free of charge. Not true. The uh, state of New York is paying for it, which means if you live in the state of New York, you're paying for it. This amid reports of price gouging of the product on the market as the coronavirus outbreak spread globally and across the U.S. Oh, so amid reports, amid reports, we're introducing, this is Governor Cuomo, we're introducing New York State clean hand sanitizer made conveniently by the state of New York. Lie number one, is it made by the state of New York, Stu? Is it made by the state of New York? Who's actually making the hand sanitizer? Well, people who live in the state of New York are making it. Well, yeah, are they? can they move away from the state of New York if they don't they like their job? Are they employed? Yes, <laughs> they are. Can okay. they be unemployed? No. This is a superior product to products now on the market, is it? Cuomo said the state's product is 75% alcohol compared to the name brand competitor Purell, which only has 70% alcohol. It's superior. It's made right here in the good old U.S. of A. It's a New York hand sanitizer. Wow, wow I'm, I'm ready to raise a flag here. Right? This is a patriotic moment. Right. Here. This is great. Right. You just read this part and you're ready to go <laughs> campaigning as well with me. Oh, sounds great. New York product has also so a very, this is a quote, a very nice floral bouquet scent. That's very nice. What kind of flowers? Are there any specifics on the flowers? I it's heard there's some tulips I, in there. I'm not sure. I I'm think there sure. are some tulips. To Perel and Mr. Amazon and Mr. eBay, quoting Cuomo. Oh, eBay. That's a good, good target there for your. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. eBay. Hi, I'm Mr. eBay. If you continue to price gouge, we'll introduce our product, which is superior to your product. You don't even have the floral bouquet, so stop price gouging. Quote, quote, end quote. A uh, spokesperson for eBay says, you know, we're taking significant measures to block and remove items, false health claims. Uh, the sp spokesperson for the parent company of Purell says, we don't set the retail price for consumers' 
We feel strongly there is no place for price gouging, especially during times of an elevated public health concern. Um, you ready? Cuomo says, if you don't stop, we're going to be able to sell and distribute this product at even a cheaper price. Well, of course you can. Because you're only paying your laborers 54 cents an hour. <laughs> Imagine how cheap the blaze could be if I had to pay everybody and they were forced to make it. And they couldn't go home. They couldn't go home. <laughs> what if they were China? He's turning into China. What's the problem? It's got a nice bouquet. You like it. Everybody likes it. Use our hand sanitizer, right? Look at our happy employees. They're nice. They're, they're in a safe compound. They got the razor wire up there. Sure, some of them are up on the roof throwing themselves off. But, hey, Apple does it in China. Why can't we do it? Look, I understand if you have hand sanitizer and you have a shortage and you have a quick way to make it while there's a shortage. Sure. Okay? I get it. I totally get it. That's why I was against Congresswoman Presley when she was saying, I'm like, come on. If there's a shortage, you need to make it up. We can use the prisoners for a little while. No, that's not what he's saying. He's challenging the free market saying, I can make it cheaper. Yes, because you pay your people 54 cents an hour. <laughs> it's outrageous. Like you, you know, they were able to make really inexpensive giant dams in China, largely because they didn't mind when a lot of workers just kind of fell into the cement. It's kind of left them there. Hey, that right, great wall. Working. That great wall. Why can't we build one like that? I don't know because there's skeletons all the way through it. Yeah. Because they, you would drop dead. They throw you into the mix. I mean, I don't think the Chinese model is a good model no, for us. No. But for some reason, we now have a governor of a state, one of the more powerful states, actually extolling the idea that the state can make these things with prisoners <laughs> at a cheaper price.